This is the liver parenchyma, which is associated with infiltration by the metastasizing pancreatic adenocarcinoma. The most common malignancy of the pancreas is uh, ductal adenocarcinoma, uh, which arises uh, from the pancreatic ductal system. It has extremely poor prognosis and uh, most cases are unresectable um, at the time of the diagnosis. This can be explained by the fact that adenocarcinoma of the pancreas is usually asymptomatic for quite a long time and then it is associated with non-specific symptoms and therefore diagnosis is often delayed and therefore it is not very uncommon to see metast uh, metastasis of the ductal adenocarcinoma of the pancreas in the liver. Here we have normal liver parenchyma with some mild chronic inflammation and mild steatosis and here we see the mass of the tumor. Most of the uh, pancreatic adenocarcinomas have prominent fibrous component. That's what we can see here. On the higher magnification, we can see malignant cells that form uh, some ducts here and there, but those ductal structures are not well formed. We can see something that looks like a luminal formation. However, a lot of these cells uh, just create solid small nests. The desmoplastic reaction is uh, very prominent and all of this pink tissue, this is fibrous component of the tumor. In this part we can see solid component of the tumor which is composed of atypical uh, nuclei with nuclear irregularities, smudged hyperchromatic uh, chromatin of the nuclei, nuclear pleomorphism and irregular nuclear contours. In this part of the tumor we can see infiltrative glandular component uh, again with prominent fibrous tissue. This is the blood vessel here and here we have reactive bile ducts. Those are not malignant structures. Thanks for watching.